What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the Cryorg C7, one of the smallest and the best looking, in my opinion, CPU cooler in the market. I'm going to do an unboxing video and also installation demo on my motherboard. But before we go any further, let's check the motherboard compatibility on the Cryorg's official website. So as we can see here, we can install on these types of motherboards. But today I will be installing it on the Socket LGA1151. The motherboard here I will use today is the Gigabyte H170N Wi-Fi, which packs quite a lot of features for its price. Maybe I should do a review on this. Let us know in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and open this guy up. The first thing you'll see when you open the top flap, it says you can register your product to get an extended three years warranty. Great, don't forget to do that guys. Now inside the box, we see another box, but this time we get to see the actual product sitting there nice and cozy waiting for us to be used. Pulling out the C7 and setting it to a side for a second, we see a backplate. Now as Craig mentioned, it is universally compatible. We can already see that this side of the backplate says AMD and other side says Intel. I'm going to be using the Intel side, which I will show you in a few minutes. Okay, what do we have here? We have the manual neatly and thickly folded into this plastic bag and also the product registration card. We have the hex screwdriver to fasten the C7 onto the motherboard. We have the cryo paste, in other words, the thermal paste. Hexagonal screw caps. And uh, I believe these are razors to increase the height. I'm not sure. If someone knows, please leave a comment down below. Now before we go on installing the C7 onto my motherboard, let's take a quick tour around it. The awesome looking 92mm fan is featured with a quad air inlet which allows extra air intake from four corners of the frame. On one of the sides we can see two 6mm heat pipes. On the other side we can see 57 fin pieces which are 1.2mm apart from each other. And on the other side is the opposite side, which is two 6mm heat, heat pipes, which therefore in total there are four heat pipes in the CPU cooler. Right underneath the CPU cooler is obviously the point of contact with the CPU. It looks bright and shiny, and don't forget to peel that plastic off before you install it. Lastly, as you may have noticed, the CPU cable is black sleeve, so we will not see those ugly ketchup and mustard cables. And let's spin the fan again, just for the sake of it. Now let's compare the C7 with the Intel stock cooler. Oh man, that thing looks so outdated. We can see that the C7's height is lower compared to the Intel stock cooler, which is a good thing for mini ITX builds. And my hands are shaking because I'm so excited to install this. Let's have a moment of silence where my Intel stock cooler retires. Lastly, I want to be as informative as possible. Let's skim through the manual and see how easy it is to install it. Feel free to pause whenever. Okay. Now let's start by taking out the Intel stock cooler by unlocking the four legs like so. Gently pull the Intel stock cooler in a rotating motion. If that doesn't work out, as you can see here, just pull the legs and it should just pop out. Carefully take out the CPU so that we can clean the old thermal paste off like so. What I did was I used a little bit of alcohol to remove the thermal paste 
as you can see here. Once that's done, it should look good as new. Put back the CPU in the motherboard and apply some cryo paste. Now, here it is. Remove the plastic from the bottom and place the C7 onto the motherboard where the screw pillars go through the mounting holes of your motherboard. If you're lucky or you have the same motherboard, route the cable fan around the C7 frame so it looks very neat like this. Place the back plate at the back of the motherboard and pass the screw pillars through the appropriate holes. For me, I have the Intel label facing upwards and simply use the hexagonal screw caps to fasten the back plate with the motherboard by using the hex screwdriver as provided. And voila, there you go, it's done. It is time to turn on your computer and see how cool it looks. So all in all, the installation was a breeze as it literally took a couple of minutes. Let's see the CPU temperature if it has really decreased its temperature by 25% as stated in the official website. So there you go guys, that was the Cryorg C7 and hope you found this review and the installation demo helpful. And if you think it is helpful, please click the like button and maybe subscribe to my channel as this is my first video. And thanks very much for watching. See you later in the next video. Bye.